Hi guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some health tips for nursing students slash just nurses in general. Honestly, like we know so much about health and how to be healthy and we educate our patients on being healthy, but yet we're like the worst people at practicing it for ourselves. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some health tips that I do in practice and I hope that they're easy and helpful for you. But before we get started, you need to know that this video is sponsored by Picmonic. Picmonic is an awesome resource for whether you're going into nursing school or you are in nursing school, maybe you're getting close to the NCLEX or even a new nurse that's at the bedside and you're just wanting something to help you really solidify this nursing foundation that you're building as a new grad nurse. Uh, Picmonic makes information and learning fun by sharing funny videos and visual representations of information that you're already learning in nursing school. Um, they're great guys. I love their approach and technique to helping you retain and learn information because they share funny stories that will make something like super easy to remember. It's kind of like, have you ever like not been able to like remember someone's name that they tell you, but you can remember like their social drama that they tell you about their divorce and like their crazy kids and family. And you like can remember that because it's really interesting, but it's hard to remember like their name. <laughs> kind of the same thing, but in nursing school uh, version, Picmonic has an app, they have a website and they are a super fun resource. I will overlay um, a little bit of clips from Picmonic so you guys can kind of see but I used this te technique when I was in nursing school, making like information that I was learning funny and share, like creating stories around it to actually help me retain it for taking exams and for when I actually took the NCLEX. So Picmonic does this for you. You can try them out for free in the description box below. They also have tons of NCLEX style questions on there. So if you're preparing for the NCLEX, great, great, great resource for helping you prepare for the NCLEX. So, check them out and we're going to jump into some health tips that i have um, now that i want to share with you guys so i'm going to show you guys something you're going to think i'm so ridiculous but look at this this is my first health tip and it's drinking a ton of water this is the water bottle i legit bring to work it is a gallon water bottle it's literally huge when people see it they're like oh my gosh how big is that but it's a full gallon and i like this one because it actually has like times on it that says like you know, 7 a.m., I need to drink this much, 9 a.m., drink this much and whatnot. But I bring it to work, so I drink the whole thing. And I find that if you have water like with you and already filled up, it's much easier to drink than if you just bring like a little water bottle or you just like don't have anything. But uh, drinking enough water while you're in class, while you are um, working at the bedside, doing clinicals is so, so important we know we don't drink enough water. Like no one needs to tell you that, that like you're not drinking enough water, but this is so helpful. I will actually, I'll link it if you guys are interested in like buying the same one, but it's helped me tremendously. And actually once I started like consistently drinking a gallon of water a day, it was like so much easier. And everyone's like, well, don't you pee a million times? And I'm like, well, one, yes, because I'm pregnant. But two, no, actually my body like adjusted. It's the weirdest thing. Once I started drinking a ton of water, like the first couple of days I like was going to the bathroom like every 30, 45 minutes because I was drinking so much water and my body wasn't used to it. But after it kind of adjusted, it like, it was like that was my, my normal amount. I didn't like pee any more than I normally did. So a little TMI for you, but if you're worried about <laughs> peeing a lot, maybe you need to consistently drink water more and it'll do the same thing that it did to me where I just like adjusted. But anyways, drinking more water. Uh, my next tip is to pack some healthy snacks um, while you're in school, when you go to clinicals. If you already have the food available for you, it's a lot easier to take a couple quick bites of like maybe a, a granola bar or like nuts or mixed fruit or whatever than it is to like, if you don't have anything, then you just starve yourselves and you end up binging like when you get home because you're so, so hungry or you go down to the cafeteria and you're like, oh, this cheeseburger and french fries sounds really good. And I'm not saying like we can't have a healthy balance of like, having all types of foods. But um, if you can pack some healthy snacks when you're in nursing school that you can just kind of snack on throughout the day, um, it really helps you one, learn better and retain information better because if you're starving, you like, that's all you can think about. It's it's like your basic human needs is, is eating. And then like next comes like actually learning. <laughs> but if you're starving, you're not gonna learn. 
Um, so that's my next tip. My next health tip is to take mental health and physical breaks. So uh, mental health breaks. This can be as simple as like stepping away from your studying and like walking outside for 10 minutes and just like taking a couple deep breaths and kind of having that reset. I know sometimes when you like have so much to do and you're just sitting down trying to cram and get everything done, you can get so overwhelmed that like you're not studying as efficiently, you're not doing your work as efficiently because you're just so stressed and it's like your head feels cloudy and cluttered and like you can't think anymore. So if you find yourself like in this fog, take a step away and do something that's not school related whatsoever. Go outside, walk around the neighborhood, um, maybe just like close your books and sit there and close your eyes. Uh, go watch a little TV show for a bit, make yourself a snack, like do something that can kind of refill your mental cup a little bit. Uh, for me, being a bedside nurse and also a mom, and I'm not in school right now, but I was in school <laughs> doing my master's not too long ago. I know how overwhelming it can be to balance everything. And so taking that time for yourself of like, at the end of the day, I would take a bath, light a candle, um, order takeout, because that just made my life easier. Those like little mental health breaks really add up and are so, so good for helping you be a better nursing student, a better nurse, a better wife, a better husband, friend, daughter, sister, brother, whatever. Um, so taking those little breaks and also physical breaks too. I don't want to focus so much on exercise because I, we all know that exercise is important, but um, if you can just get up and maybe walk for 10 or 15 minutes, just something to kind of clear your head, get your blood flowing, it helps a lot. I actually did this when I was in nursing school and I would find like, I'm like sitting on my bed, on my computer, starting to doze off because I'm so tired. And instead of like just taking a nap because I knew I had like so much to do, I would get up and I would walk the loop around my neighborhood. And when I'd come back, I'd feel like, okay, like I can do a little more because my head was clear. Like physically, I just felt a little better. And um, yeah, so that's one of my other helpful tips. I hope it's helpful. <laughs> um, and my last tip is to just get enough sleep. I know this is hard, but you have to force yourself. You have to prioritize it. You have to be able to set down your work and set it aside and go to bed at a reasonable time because I'm telling you that if you are up doing all-nighters every single night you are not gonna do as well on an exam if you are not getting great sleep so um, try to just budget your time appropriately get stuff done ahead of time don't procrastinate so that way you can go to bed at a reasonable time get enough sleep um, I again I, I know it's difficult for me I'm gonna be honest when I was in nursing school it was so hard for me to sleep because I was anxious and I was nervous for my clinicals and my tests that I actually I started taking melatonin and I'm not saying you need to take melatonin like obviously talk to your doctor do what you need to do but for me I needed that little like something to take the edge off so I could just go to sleep and not be like so hyper focused on everything so get good sleep drink water, eat healthy snacks, take your mental health breaks, and I hope that these are some helpful tips for you guys. <laughs> um, if you are interested in checking out Picmonic, there'll be a link down below. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.